Hello and welcome back to another episode of Simpson Spin. Today we will be covering the top 10 best Treehouse of Horror shorts. Number 10, Bad Dream House. Bad Dream House is an episode basically where the Simpsons move into a new house, but the house is haunted because it was built on an ancient Indian burial ground. I like this episode. It's pretty good. It's a classic. Um, nothing else really needs to be said. Bad Dream House, one of the first of the uh, Treehouse of Horror episodes, or it comes from the first Treehouse of Horror episode, but it's one of the first shorts that they did. It's pretty excellent, still holds up, the whole episode does. Number 9, Citizen Kane. This is basically an episode strictly about um, political satire and comedy, um, and it has some good laughs, but Nate is really the expert on this episode, so I'll let him take it over. This episode's really excellent. Uh, King and Kodos abducting Bill Clinton and Bob Dole and taking control of their bodies in order to run for president and have control over the United States of America. Uh, Clinton versus Dole, it's uh, pretty funny. You know, they obviously make fun of uh, these two presidential candidates a lot. Uh, probably was uh, better to watch back then because, you know, it was happening. But a pretty, pretty great episode that, you know, they're tearing into each other is King and Kodos. But for some reason, people on Earth haven't noticed that they're, they've been replaced even when they're <laughs> holding hands to exchange long protein strings and all oh, working together at the White House. It's, it's pretty excellent. Number eight, Clown Without Pity. And this is basically a parody of uh, Chucky, where uh, Bart has a Krusty the Clown doll, and it tries to kill Homer constantly. Um, and this episode has some pretty good laughs. One of the most notable is the toaster joke. Guess who, fat boy? Bart, Bart, look! Ah. Oh the doll's trying to kill me, and the toaster's been laughing at me. <laughs> you dog water. But overall, just a pretty solid Treehouse of Horror, and it's like seeing parodies of popular horror franchises and movies will be a constant throughout this list. Yeah, Clown Without Pity is a great episode. Uh, uh, it's it's kind of a combination because it also has the scene clearly inspired by Gremlins uh, with Homer being buying the cursed doll from a, a shopkeeper who also gives him free frozen yogurt. Great episode. You know, very funny. The Krusty the Clown doll is pretty absurd. And, you know, twist at the end. You find out the whole time he was just set to evil. So they changed him back. Back to factory settings. Number seven, The Thing and I. All right. So next up, we have The Thing and I. And this is basically an episode where it turns out Bart was a uh, twin when he was born. And they split them up at birth. And one twin went to you know live a normal life and that was bart and the other twin went to go live up in the um attic and basically an evil side of bart you know um and it has some very excellent voice acting in this episode and it's just overall a pretty good short yeah that was pretty great introduces bart's <laughs> bart's twin hugo who uh you know it's for, it's a funny episode. Uh, I have to call in Dr. Hibbert to help him out, incapacitate him. That, that scene's always been pretty excellent with the, the punch through the mirror frame. Love that. Anyway, number six, The Devil and Homer Simpson. All right, up next we have The Devil and Homer Simpson. This is basically an episode where uh, Ned Flanders is actually the devil, which we'll see a lot throughout these Treehouse of Horror episodes. But basically, Homer says, I would, gi I I would give my soul for a donut right now. Then the devil appears and um, Homer signs away his soul for a donut. Then basically, the whole episode is revolves around the devil basically owning Homer Simpson's soul. But really, in the end, it turns out that Marge Simpson owns Homer's soul because they got married. Overall, pretty good episode um, and, you know, good. Yeah, I, I love the, uh, the always the person you least expect bit with uh, Ned being the devil and Homer tr thinking he's tricked Ned by not eating all of the donut and then waking up in the middle of the night and eating the rest of the donut uh, for no reason <laughs> just because he's so stupid. Then he has to spend the day in hell and is... <laughs> force fed is all the donuts he could ever want um but he happily eats all of them because he's homer and oh yeah and a good lionel hutz bit there as well one of my favorite characters in the show number five art simpson's dracula 
All right, and now on our list uh, is really kind of where it takes a turn for the best. Um, and these are just overall like the most classic, some of the best of Simpsons, um, I would say of all time, you know? So we have Bart Simpson's Dracula. And this is basically um, where, you know, Mr. Burns is playing a Dracula character and invites the Simpsons up to his mansion in the mountains and tries to kill them. And yeah, um, but overall, it's an absolute classic. It's a must watch at the Halloween season. It is overall just a really great episode and it's really a trendsetter for um, these Treehouse of Horror bits. So very good. I mean, yeah, it's a it's a pretty excellent episode. The the super fun slide in Burns' basement, uh, how extremely clueless they are to the fact that he's a vampire is a pretty great a couple of bits. And yeah, it's it's a good episode or good good clip in the episode. Number four, Nightmare on Evergreen Terrace, uh, which is obviously a parody of Nightmare on Elm Street. So basically, Willie, the school uh, janitor and groundskeeper, is Freddy Krueger and is attacking all the children of Springfield uh, in their dreams. And the whole episode, it has a pretty cool ending where Bart, Lisa, and Maggie, in their dreams, defeat um, Willie. But Willie actually does not die. And the end of the episode is just total laugh where uh, Willie leaves his gun on the seat. Um, and the bus drives away. I don't know, Bart. Something tells me Willie's still out there and that he could come back any time in any form and kill us in ways we can't even imagine. Stop! I left my gun on the seat! Hey! Wait here, please. Just overall, really great. Pretty good laughs in this episode, and yeah. Yeah, I think that this one's definitely one of my favorite all time. Uh, you know, that's why we made the list, but it's it's just really hilarious uh, from start to finish. You know, Martin being killed in his math dream and the whole wheel not slowly. We can't let the children see and pulling off the, the curtain. That's great. Um, of course, <laughs> the whole... PTA meeting, Smarch at the 13th month, um, Don't Touch Willie, Two Spaghetti Meals in One Day, you know, all really great, great parts of those episodes. Number three, Dial Z for Zombies. All right, next we have Dial Z for Zombie. This is basically where zombies come to life and it basically it becomes like a fallout scenario um, in Springfield and turns out Bart is actually immune, immune to all the zombies um, and it's just overall a really good uh, episode where you have like this zombie apocalypse type thing and it has definitely one of the better jokes out of like all of these and I'll play it right now. Hey Simpson, I'm feeling a mite peckish. Mind if I chew your ear? <gasps> Dad, you killed the zombie Flanders. He was a zombie? And yeah, that's just super funny. Um, yeah, I mean, that's got to be one of, one of the best ones for sure. The, the zombies are all being, uh, you know, historical figures and the confusion over the graves. That's a, a good little bit. Um, uh, watching people be slowly infected is, is pretty funny as well. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> wrecking the car bit is it's great you know i'd say i'd say one of the best for sure number two the raven all right next up we have the raven and this is definitely one of the greatest treehouse of horror bits um it was in the very first one and it was it's obviously a parody of um Edgar Allan's Poe, The Raven, um, and it's basically a bit pretty close to a line-by-line -line, uh, retelling of the story, and it's just overall really good. Um, yeah. Yeah, I mean, The Raven was, in the first episode, definitely like the most important one. It was kind of what really caused people to talk about uh, that first episode, you know, and the first one obviously led to it becoming a yearly tradition. I'm not sure that they thought it would even be a yearly tradition when they made it. They might have, but yeah. Number one, The Shinning. So then we come to our very last short on this episode, The Shinning. 
based off of the movie and book The Shining, written by Stephen King. And basically, you all know the story of The Shining, um, and it it's just a very good episode. It's very um, funny, and it has one of the best eps- one of the best jokes in all of Simpsons. And I'll again, I'll play it right now. <laughs> I found a shortcut through a hedge maze. Go, are you little? No, no, go easy on the wee one. His father's gonna go crazy and chop them all into haggis. What's haggis? <gasps> Boy, you read my thoughts. You've got the shining. You mean shining. Shh, you wanna get sued? And when I, like, heard that and watched that for the first time, I burst out laughing. I thought it was some of the funniest stuff on the planet Earth, like, you know, because you get kind of like a third wall break, you know, um, and just overall is really funny. Um, I mean, yeah, it's, uh, Shining's got to be my, I mean, so it's the number one, you know, it's uh, brilliant in, in parody and it's just, it's so excellent, you know, I, I love, I love it. I don't know what to, what else to say. I love it. Great episode. And that just about wraps up our list for the top 10 Treehouse of Horror shorts of all time um and we hope you all had a good halloween and hope you have a good thanksgiving as well um and we are signing off till next time this has been tristan and nate thank you for listening to simpson spin (laughs) 